Hello boys and girls, how are you? Welcome to ITTV. I'm Miss Sonia, your year 4 English tutor. Today we are going to do a bit of comprehension. Alright students, today we've got a very interesting lesson. I have two very interesting passages for you to read. Now, we are going to read the passages and then answer questions later on. But before that, I have a poem for you. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. One, two, three, four and five. Six, seven, eight. Then the next number is nine. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, some like it in the pot nine days old. One, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight. Then the next number is nine. There you go boys and girls, a poem about cold porridge. Now, do you like cold porridge or hot porridge? Hmm, that's something to think about. Alright, let us go on to our first comprehension passage. We are going to learn more about the umbrella. Read this passage carefully. And then answer the questions that follow. The earliest umbrella was invented over 4,000 years ago. People in Egypt, Greece and China used them. The Chinese were the first to use waterproof umbrellas with bamboo frames. Their paper umbrellas were waxed and lacquered in order to use them in the rain. The word umbrella comes from the Latin root word umbra, meaning shade or shadow. Starting in the 16th century, the umbrella became popular in Europe. The first umbrella shop opened in 1830 in London, England. The European umbrellas of that time were made of the bones from whales and covered with oiled canvas. The curved handles of the umbrellas were made out of hard woods like ebony. In 1852, an English man, Samuel Fox, invented the umbrella with steel frames. About 100 years later, umbrellas which could be folded were invented. Today, umbrellas come in folding and stick styles with handles made of polystyrene material or wood. Stick umbrellas are larger and stronger than folded umbrellas. Well, there you go, boys and girls. A little story on how the umbrella evolved. Imagine what it was before and what it is now. We cannot go out in the rain without an umbrella. Now, you listen to the story very carefully. Now, let us answer some questions. The word umbra means to give a shade b shelter c warmth d heat who were the first to use waxed umbrellas a the chinese b the greeks c the British. Uh. 
When did the umbrella become popular in Europe? A. The 10th century B. The 5th century C. The 6th century D. The 16th century Who invented the umbrella with steel frames? A. Samuel Moss B. Samuel Fox C. Sammy Davis D. Samantha Fox Umbrella frames were made of the following except A. Whalebone B. Bamboo C. Steel D. Plastic Alright students, are you ready with your answers? Let's check them together. The word umbra means to give A. Shade Who were the first to use waxed umbrellas? A. The Chinese When did the umbrella become popular in Europe? D. The 16th century Who invented the umbrella with steel frames? B. Samuel Fox Umbrella frames were made of the following except D. Plastic Alright students, how did you do? I'm sure you did really well. Now let us go on to our next comprehension passage. We are going to read about the telephone. <laughs> Read this passage carefully, then answer the questions that follow. The telephone is an inexpensive way to communicate. It is also simple to operate. It offers its users an immediate and personal type of communication that cannot be obtained through any other medium. Consequently, it has become the most widely used telecommunication device in the world. There are billions of telephone sets in use around the world. The telephone is a very common device and everybody has a telephone at home or in the office. There are many different uses for a telephone. We can attach a fax machine to a telephone and send as many faxes as we want. Nowadays, broadband is readily available and if we have a telephone, we can use the broadband to surf the internet very easily. Recently, IPTV has also been introduced with which a person can watch live television on the computer. However, he must have a telephone before he can use the IPTV facility. Another important landmark in the evolution of the telephone is the cordless phone. Enhancing the mobility of the user, this phone is becoming popular around the world. It provides high flexibility to the user as it is not always possible to stay tied up to the cords of a fixed telephone. Well, isn't it interesting how the telephone has managed to help us in our lives? We can't really live without a telephone, can we? Now, have you listened and read carefully? Because these are your questions. The telephone is an blank way to communicate. A. Easy B. Immediate C. Inexpensive D. Ideal The most widely used telecommunication device in the world is the A. Telephone B. Television C. Internet D. Fax The following
following are reasons why the telephone is popular except A. It is an inexpensive way to communicate B. It is difficult to communicate with friends C. It is simple to operate D. It offers an immediate way to communicate The word landmark can best be replaced with A. Facility B. Occasion C. Groundwork D. Milestone What is the advantage of a cordless phone? A. It helps the user to stay tied up to the cords of a fixed telephone B. It is cheaper than a fixed telephone C. It provides flexibility and D. The user can watch live television on the computer Well students, are you ready with the answers? Let's check the answers together The telephone is an Inexpensive way to communicate The most widely used telecommunication device in the world is the A. Telephone The following are reasons why the telephone is popular except B. It is difficult to communicate with friends The word landmark can best be replaced with D. Milestone What is the advantage of a cordless phone? C. It provides flexibility Well students, how did you do? Sure you did really well So what did we do in today's lesson? We did comprehension passages and we also answered questions based on them We also learned a lot about umbrellas and how important the telephone is to us We've come to the end of our lesson boys and girls and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson Thank you for watching ITTV I'm Miss Sonia, your year 4 English tutor